Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com here with a 30 second Photoshop edit using the SR Lounge Action Packs. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to be using strictly the base vintage pack, but throughout this series, we're going to basically be teaching you guys how to take the SR Lounge Action Packs and combine them into what we call mixology, basically creating recipes out of these different actions. And we're going to do each one in 30 seconds or less, or at least really close to 30 seconds or less. So, Let's get started. We're going to create a new folder for our actions. We're going to call it SR Lounge Mixology. I'm going to bring this to the top of my list by clicking and dragging. And then we're going to create a new action. And I think a really cool effect for this image is going to be something that kind of makes it look really bright, really faded, maybe a little bit warmed up. Uh, this is coming straight from the actual raw file. All we did was did basic uh, Lightroom, like the, it's almost the standard Lightroom processing that comes with it. So we're just bringing it straight into Photoshop. And uh, let's call this Whimsically Bright for our name. We'll hit record and let's get started. I'm going to hit the start on my cool timer over here to give us 30 seconds and let's go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a desaturated cross bright wash. We're going to then add a, I think I want to do a little bit of warming, a little bit of a contrast boost and a little bit more brightening. And I'm going to lower that to about 20%. And that is great right there. I'm going to hit stop my action and we're going to hit stop our clock. We have three seconds left. Pretty awesome. Now the last thing I like to do with every one of my actions is to take all of my layer effects and put them into one single grouping just to keep everything really nicely organized. So the last step was to set the current layer which was brighten to 20%. So both brighten and the set current layer should be selected. Now what we're going to do is go down to the record button. We're going to start recording again to add on this final step. So now our recording button is highlighted. I'm going to move my cool timer up a little bit because we need to see this uh, bar over here. Actually, I'll just move this out of the way. We need to be able to see this bar right here. So what we're going to do is select all of our layers with the exception of the background. I'm going to hold shift and click desaturated cross to select all four. While holding down the alt key or option on a Mac, you're going to click and drag all of these onto this new group button. Now what this does is it creates a new group and it brings up the option dialog at the same time. We're going to type in whimsically bright. We don't need to change the color or the mode and we're going to leave opacity at 100%. Now doing this as opposed to clicking the control G to group it makes it so that this make group goes into one single action step as opposed to breaking it up into an action step to create the group and then to rename the action. So basically it makes the action a little more efficient, and makes it run a little bit quicker. So I'm going to hit stop and what we're going to do is we're going to test out our action if we did this right. We can minimize this. I'm going to take my action right here and delete it. And then I'm going to just click this and hit play and we get our full action already done and we can apply this to any image. So let's grab another image that we can apply this to. Here's another image of the same couple from the same session. We're going to apply our whimsically bright action step and let's see what we get. So we can see our mixology action is working perfectly and uh, we have this nice warm faded bright look to this image and uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So that's it for the whimsically bright action guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you with the next 30 second Photoshop edit.